Hello guys, welcome to Engineer One. Today I'm going to show you how to solve vector cross product and dot product problems using your TI-36X Pro calculator. These are going to be some of the easiest points that you can get on the FE exam. It will allow you to solve these really quickly and it will give you more time to solve the more difficult questions you might encounter later on. So let's go ahead and get started. For this first one, we are given a cross product problem. It says, given two vectors A and B, what is the cross product? So over here, I have my calculator on the right. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit second and then vector to go to our vector operations part of the calculator. Then we're going to go to edit and we're going to modify our first vector. In this case, we have a vector in three dimensions. And for this first vector, it's going to be five. 2, negative 4. So we hit enter. And then once you have that vector in the calculator, you hit second again, and then vector operations again. You go to edit your second vector in this case. So for this one, we also have a vector in three dimensions. And this one is 2, negative 1, negative 2. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in my calculator. And now we can go second and hit quit. And it'll take us back to the main screen of the calculator. So what we just did there is we put our vector A and vector B into our calculator. Now we need to actually just run the cross product operation. The way we do that is we hit second. Then we hit vector once more. This time we go to the math tab and we hit two for cross product then we hit second vector one more time and we grab our first vector u in this case we put a comma so second and then the dot here will give you the comma and then we finally add our second vector and we hit enter and that gives us the cross product for the vectors that we put in in this case, it's going to be negative 8, 2, negative 9. So if we take a look at our multiple choice, our answer is A. So now let's say you were asked to solve for a dot product instead of a cross product. The process would be the same. So as a reminder, in order to put the vectors into the calculator, you just go to second, vector, and then you go to the edit tab and that's where you can put your vectors into the calculator. But the only difference is this time you would go second vector. And when you go to the math tab, you would select the dot product instead of the cross product. And then you would just enter your vectors in the same way that we did for the cross product. So we'll go ahead and do that. And the answer for this one is 16. So as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. Once you get the hang of how to do this, it'll be some of the easiest points you can get on the FE exam. And that really helps out a lot when you run into more difficult problems later that you can use more time on. So if you like tips like these, I will be making a lot more videos on this type of content in the future. So make sure to subscribe and like and leave any comments on suggestions for things I can cover in the future. Thank you for your time and I'll see you in the next video.